Hello guys, today I'll be drawing my life. So right now, as I was born, I was born with a little thing on the side of my, my waist, and it's called a birthmark. Not a birthmark. I was born with a birth mark. And when I was born, I, I, or when I was in the stomach, I, I used to like, like do like little punch things. I used to go up and down and up and then down and then up and then down. I used, my family calls me Benny the Bopper, because I bopped a lot. I, I was obsessed with calling airplanes. Um, boom. I used to love calling airplanes boom, booms. I don't know why. Probably because helicopters and planes made such loud noises. I used to call them boom booms. But I'm not sure why in the world a kid would do that. So, when I turned five, I was home. I was homeschooled. I was ho homeschooled until I was. Uh, I turned seven. I started second grade. Grade. And then I moved. Well, I didn't move anywhere, but when I started second grade, I had about, um, about 13 friends. Yes, I know, it's not a lot of friends. I had about 13 friends. I'm not gonna draw out 13 friends. Oh, this one's me. These are my friends. But when I turned into third grade, it went down to 10 friends, which is, I don't know why it turned down to 10 friends. Then, when I moved into third grade, um, some new kids moved into my class. I'm, I'm not gonna say names, but one of them was such a good friend and also watched the things I loved. In a way, me and my friend sometimes didn't get along that much. We didn't really get along very well sometimes. So, well, that was, well, that was a nightmare, not getting along. But me and my friends are all nice now. Every time I see them, I give them a high five. When we were going to school, to our classroom. We used to race in the hallways. We used to race a lot. 
my friend got sick. So I didn't have anybody to play with. So I was pretty sad. I was very, very, very sad. And my friends were over there playing a game while I was just over in a corner doing that. Well, two of my friends, this one and this one, that's why I'm doing scribbles because I don't want to say names. I was very sad that my friend was sick. I thought, I thought my friend was gonna move to Texas in a little city right here. Then that plan was all scraped up and he actually didn't go. He didn't go. So one day we were playing tag running and the tiger was chasing me but then the tiger tripped and hit the ground pretty hard to the point that they started bleeding. It wasn't going everywhere like that picture, but I didn't really know how to show bleeding with only just a black marker. And I immediately ran over to the tagger that their knee was bleeding and I, I ran and told the teacher and the teacher came and uh, put a band-aid on it. As soon as they put that band-aid on it, like that stuff, the white stuff on it, and as soon as I hit his knee, he screamed because it hurt, but he wasn't in severe pain. The teacher was just confused for a second, and I was too. But he he was fine after that. He was fine. Moving back to when I was just a baby. When my family used to Swaddle me. Oh, I hated it. I hated swaddles. I hated them. I hated them so much that I would break out of it and the whole thing would smudge because of my strength. And I'm not sure how a baby could even do that. I was obsessed with fire trucks. I'm not sure why I was obsessed with fire trucks. I used to have Hot Wheels of fire trucks and I used to sleep with them. I used to sleep with them. I know I'm not very good of a heart maker, but that's supposed to be a heart. I slept with it. I don't know why in the world I loved fire trucks so much, but I just loved them. For some reason, one of our neighbors has a whole bunch of pigeons in the house that he lets loose. And one of them always comes to our pretty big house and 
either goes in the backyard over here or just hangs out on the roof. I named him Oreo and I used to come out in the backyard like this. I used to come through the door and I used to start playing around here and then this guy would fly down into our backyard and I used to run back into the house, get a whole bunch of seeds and then run back out straight back into the backyard. Time. I sat down next to my friend at school on a bench thing. We were at lunch and I was just hanging out on the bench with my friend. And then the table was right here. One of my friends thinks it's a great idea to run over here and jump onto the table and start doing the Fortnite default dance. Like this. Yeah, they actually did that. So, what did I do? I ran to go tell the teacher, of course, and then the teacher came, I came, and then that soon got in so much trouble that they didn't come for a day. So, I don't know what happened to that kid, but he's back now. And we were in art class, and we were doing, we were doing, um, painting with the paint palettes around the one big circle with a whole bunch of colors. We'll say this one's yellow. Blue, magen magenta, and white, and black. All those colors. And we got to mix all those colors around here and in here. And it was so much fun. Well, the day when I got sick in third grade, and started throwing up. That was not fun. That was totally not fun. Imagine laying in bed and like I was watching my iPad at the time in there and shocked <laughs> and throwing up at night and your you didn't know that it was coming, and it's getting all over your bed and getting on the floor. And your parents have to run in and give you, like, a bucket or something for you to throw in, throw up in. Yeah, that stuff ain't fun. That stuff, yeah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it, it ain't, it, it ain't fun it ain't fun like seriously it, it is not fun and then i went to school i'm not sure if it was hunger or my throw up coming back my stomach started to hurt a little so the next scene i'm asking the teacher if i can go to the bathroom and she says, I, I sure can. So, the next scene is I start running to the bathroom because it starts hurting worse. And then, next thing I get inside, I, I take a big number two and it was messy. But my stomach wasn't hurting anymore, so that was at least good. That's a thumbs up, by the way. That was totally good that I didn't throw up at school. Thank you guys so much for joining my story in my life. 
There's still more that I've yet to tell you about, and I'll make a part, a part two on this.